Sheikh Usman Ali Shagari. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve. And that I will preserve. Protect, protect and defend the constitution and defend the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. New Year's Eve, 20 months ago, the military deposed the civilian democratically elected President Shagari. The aim to remove the scourge of years of corruption where Nigeria's oil-rich economy was kept afloat by billions of pounds of kickbacks and slush money, while much of the population live in poverty. The new leader, General Buhari, had the two Nigerian days... The Nigerian leader began by cataloging the corruption and mismanagement of the deposed civilian uh, government, uh, which he said forced the military to act. The Nigerian armed forces could not stand idly by while this country was drifting through a dangerous state of political and economic collapse. General Buhari said the military council planned to restructure the Nigerian economy, their barracks. But General Buhari declined to be specific on how long the military would rule. We intend to hold the leadership until we are satisfied that uh, some of the worst cases of uh, mismanagement in terms of resources uh, are clear. The announcement that the ruling military council installed less than two years ago had been dissolved. But there's been no word on the fate of Major General Muhammad Buhari, who headed it. He led the last coup on New Year's Eve, 1983, when he promised a new start after four years of corrupt civilian rule. But Nigeria's problems have only worsened. In the second... ...the does not seem to be getting any better, as we witness daily increased inflation. Two army officers who were then executed. Tonight, communications are cut, but this man, General Babangida, the army chief of staff, the hand behind the last coup, the hidden power behind Buhari, and other past military leaders, is thought to have taken control himself. The danger of another coup, though, remains. I think... Try out a system. We must not be afraid to make mistakes. It's only to enable us to make necessary corrections. And try again. Often we... It remains empty. The well, army they want the democracy to fail. Babangida never intended to leave power at the end of the so-called transition program. Uh, his intention all along has always been to transform himself from a military head of state to a civilian president. People are likely going to fight back, are likely going to fight to assert the superiority of their collective will over the whims of the military.